Hello guys, this is Neverkill 2K12 here and I am back with some more Third Age Total War and well as you can see I, I'm not too sure if this is where we left off because I did get into a battle and it crashed and the last save was here but what is going down is we are yes. besieging um, we this city engage. and we yes. are also attacking Goblin Town Your order, down down to Goblin Town but I'm not too sure it will happen like what it happened yes. like last time, but last time they Orders. did come out and attack me. And trust me, this is going to be an epic battle. It's going to be a very hard one too, um, because this is the battle I fought. They came out to fight me, and it is going to be an epic battle, guys. It's going to be very hard, very very hard. But sadly, it crashed, and there is absolutely nothing I can do. It's just one of the problems with it being a mod and not a full game that crashes are frequent. So there's not much you can do about it. You just have to push through. That did not happen last time though. <laughs> yep, see they've come out to fight us, excellent. Alright. Can't do a night attack, so we will just fight this battle. Attack! This is in battle of extreme proportions, guys. Alright, so what we're going to do is quickly. Archers are going to fire at them all coming out of this gate. You're going to drop the ram. We're going to line you up. Quickly guys, fire, 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 fire. Here we go. We're gonna fire at them all while they're coming out. We should hopefully get some kills. We've already killed 1%, 2% of the men. We'll fire on the back here. when they all come out what we're going to do is we are going to oh god this is a different battle field oh no we are in trouble guys <laughs> oh there was a little hill mound over there last time okay we are gonna go and this is even better guys this is even better right we're gonna come way over here And we're going to camp because they came out and attacked us. So that means they are going to come and march on us rather than us having to attack them even though it is set in a siege environment. So we've already killed a lot of men. There's a lot of dead bodies everywhere. So they're just going to get organized and ne yep, now they're going to chase me. And we're going to camp like little bitches on on this hill. And the goblin horde is going to come and try and kill us. Well, I say nay. But to be honest, guys, this is even better terrain than last time, and I thought I got lucky last time. But here we go. Here come the orc hordes. Here come all these snaga. It's so many snaga guys, it's unreal. I may sound a bit drained, I have just done two episodes and you know I've crashed quite a bit, so not in the best of moods. Alright, we are gonna try and engage these snaga in combat. Oh no, we're gonna shoot these goblin infantry. We have just slaughtered them though in one volley, which is brilliant. So now here come these goblin infantry thinking they can come beat me when they quite clearly cannot right that's gone from 100 and I think it's 20 men to 80 so that's brilliant right all of you can fire on this snaga unit we're gonna charge now 
And what we're also going to do is bring these guys to the flanks. I'm going to use Elrond's special ability. What? Oh, we need to take skirmish mode off, god damn you. I had a big problem with this last game, not having it now. Right, so what have we got? We've got some more of them coming up. Right, you guys can go there. No, not all of you, Jesus Christ. Right, so we're beating these guys back. Which is excellent. You fire on them. All of you fire on those goblin infantry. Right, we've broken them. Excellent. Right, so I'll just get my men back up here. Nope, oh, these guys. Oh, nope, those guys have been broken as well. All my archers can fire on those goblin heavy infantry right there. See how many we can kill. Down to 96 men already. There's nothing I can do about those snargers, sadly. Right, they can keep firing on them. So can they engage with them? All of you can attack. In fact, no. Attack those heavy goblin infantry from behind. That would be excellent. Let's have a look. We've lost 40% and we've killed 36% of their men. Excellent. We've just broken some of their uh, heavy infantry. We are taking heavy snagger fire though, but uh, to be honest, guys, there is nothing we can do about it. Right, so these goblin heavy infantry are now coming back to fight me. Where are these halberds? These halberds are here. These guys are monsters and we are going to want to cut them down as quickly as possible. I wonder if we can get into combat with these guys. I'm sure we could beat them in close quarters. Can we? Will they enter combat with my elves? Right, whenever we are in range of those halberds, we need to take them out. Lama men back up. We have caught up to some of his snaggers. I really hope it doesn't crash this time. I'm sick of the crashing. Right, we've broken these and broken these. But you have to remember, guys, it is in a siege setting, so it will. They will come back. They'll just go to, to the town square. Is why I need cavalry. See these? Are, I don't see why, because the AI did this in the last battle as well. He just walked these guys up. He really should have run them up with his goblin infantry. But I know next time, if I ever do a campaign, I'll probably do um, an Orcs in the Misty Mountain campaign because these guys are just look so cool. They can really handle themselves in battle as well. Right. I'm not sure what my Only archers are firing the enemy at. Force remains. Right, so we've killed half the enemy force, which is excellent. Where are you all going? What are you doing? Jesus. Alright, we're in range of them, which is brilliant. Snaggers are really hurting me though. Never thought Snaggers would be so much of a pain than what they actually are, but they are really are annoying. Right, I'll just get all my actual units to fire on them because we need to take them down. God, we've got Goblin infantry coming up as well.
the battle seems to be swinging in our favour. Excellent, From guys. Such tidings does victory emerge. Right, you guys need to get back on top of this hill. So you guys go and do that now. Just running up here's Goblin Infantry on this wing. It's Halberds on this wing. Right, this is the immediate threat, so that is what we're going to go and face. Now my guys are behind the infantry, they are going to f fire on these Goblin Infantry as well. They have a lot of heavy infantry, they really do. Really don't fancy getting into combat with these heavy uh, Goblin Halberd though. They will tear me apart. It's go time! Alright, here we go, he's running his guys in. Thankfully, he's not running his halberds in. So, I guess I can count my blessings. Right, we've broke and that unit now, which is brilliant. I have put some of the details on low. See, on auto detect, it says I can run this game on ultra, but like I said, it's, it is a mod, so it's not going to be too stable. Right, we're going to put fire arrows on and see if what a volley of fire arrows will do to this unit. A lot of my guys are running out of ammunition though. Which is not good. Here we go guys, here we go. Here comes the fire. Boom, that was quite nice. Let's wait for everyone else now. Wow, that was very good. What have we got coming up? Goblin Infantry and Snaga. Right, so we'll divert our attention to the Goblin Infantry. As we have really torn apart this unit, guys. <laughs> we really have wrecked this unit apart. So now we're going to fire on this unit here. Ah. Wish that would have got someone. Now we'll move back to these heavy goblin halberds because these guys are now broken. Shame we have so little ammunition left though. We need to make these shots count. Take fire off now. So like I just said, we need to make these shots count. Take fire at will off. And everyone can stop firing now. And we're going to charge him with our men. Snaggers are still firing at us. This unit can attack those Snaggers. Well, fire upon them. Here we go, guys. Right, we come crashing in. Elrond's at the forefront of the fight with his bodyguards and they are wrecking these guys apart. See guys, we have just destroyed them. Excellent. Let's have a look. 23% of our men have been killed and we the killed 71% of in them. Our favor. Victory will be ours. Excellent. What are these? These are Snaga, right. So I think we've, for the most part, we've completely destroyed his infantry component. No, I think it's just a case of just destroying his range component. They're attacking us. They're attacking us. Ugh, just need to wait for his snaggers to run out of ammunition. And then once his snaggers have run out of ammunition, then we can just quite easily um Alright, we need to engage them. We can just quite easily just go into close combat with them. But this has been quite a tense battle here, guys. Elrond's gone to silver experience. Looks like these guys are going go to go in for close combat, which is great. Maybe not, but I think we may catch them. Why have you just stopped? That's not what I asked you to do. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. So, guys, see, 
Sometimes you need to use cheap tactics like hill camping to win battles. <laughs> ah, that Snago is gonna hurt. Now we're charging to the, the what's left of this goblin infantry. All the archers without ammunition can line up, and ones with can fire on this goblin unit here. So now it's just a case of mopping. Up what is left, and sadly there are skirmishers, with who have skirmish mode on. The enemy general abandons his men. Right. Let's charge into these guys now. And Goblin Town is actually quite a rich province, so we should be able to benefit. Uh, we should be able to benefit from this quite greatly. What does he have in here? Not much. Which is brilliant. We may need to break down the gates though now. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Let's fast forward this now. Broken, broken. These guys should break before they get close. Broken, yep. These guys should break before we get close. Right, you guys can man the ram. If we can get in though, well, the gate's open, we won't need the ram. If we continue like this, the enemy general yes, we're in, guys. His men. We are in, we are in, guys, right. Now it's just a case of killing everything that is inside. Right, we will fire on these snaggers. And everything with no ammunition and melee can come and just wreck apart. In fact, no, we won't fire because that will cause too many friendly casualties. Our men have slain the enemy general. Yes, guys. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Oh, I'm sorry, I if sound drained. I've just realised like how drained I sound. Smash the enemy. Uh, just doing the same battle twice is quite. Um. Tiring. So, oh, right, these guys are now fighting to the death. Aaron's company is losing quite a lot of men. Our men are in command of the Hooray! city! Hooray! Come on, guys, come on, guys. Hurry up, hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, there we go, guys! At the last. Enemy are utterly vanquished. So we only lost 57 this is men. This a great victory, worthy of only the mightiest of generals. And we killed absolutely everybody. So that was a brilliant triumph, actually, guys. And I'm actually really happy that has happened. And I'm definitely going to save because I do not want any more crashes. So we're just taking Goblin Town now, guys. Glory, honor. Victory! We're going to occupy. Lord, and that is a very rich province. Conquered. So, new mission. Send an emissary to the Orcs of Gundabad. Is that what you want? My lord. Right, there's just an Orc general here. Victory in your name, my lord. To war then. Auto resolve this. Yes, we can do with another general. Why not? Victory! As you command. Right. Yes. We'll send you over here. As you command. I've tried whipping them, but the men are spent. Oh. Is there anything that I need to get rid of? Don't think so. But we do need an artist's studio. So we can up the tax here, we can indeed get a high tax rate going here. Hopefully this should put our economy back on track, so end of turn. In profit, new family member. War declared, Dale and Mordor, excellent. Relations report, Ox of Gundabad, very poor. Ox of um, Misty Mountains, abysmal. I'm not sure what that means. It probably means absolutely terrible. That's 
not a diplomat. Can I recruit a diplomat here? Nope. Alright, looks like I can't really send an emissary over then. Ah, well. Right, over here. Yes, my lord. We shall engage. If I can assault without that army there getting involved, and I can, yes, guys. Look, right, if you see that army is right next to this settlement, I really do think we need to assault before they can intervene. So we're going to go ahead and do we that. Attack! Yes, guys, that is brilliant. Now, if we can take this settlement it'll be much easier to defend with that army attacking rather than it helping his ally defend so we'll just line up like this and then archers can go behind 